friends, welcome to the day after Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. I'm feeling fantastic. So very grateful for these last two weeks. I wanted to quickly share with you what I ate today, especially my first cooked meal in two weeks. And then I wanted to share with you just a few very quick takeaways that I gathered from the last two weeks in hopes that these things can potentially help you along your healing journeys. Alrighty, I started the day with my red raspberry leaf tea again, and then I had to run out and gather some spring water. We were completely out, so we now have 10 gallons of fresh spring water at home. Then I ran to the store to get a couple groceries that we needed at home, especially for my cooked meal that I'll show you in a second. And on my way to the store, I stopped and got a fresh juice. And I wanted, I had it, I actually ordered an apple base with carrot and orange. And I, I really wanted that earthiness and that slight sweetness of the carrot to kind of help mellow everything. But I believe they gave me apple, orange, and ginger because it was a spicy. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a good juice. Don't, don't get me wrong, guys. Um, it was fantastic and real hydrating. But um, I guess whenever you have your mind set on the earthiness of a carrot and instead you get the uh, the spice of ginger you know it just wakes you up so it was uh, still a fantastic juice then when I got home I prepped my first cooked meal in two weeks that was just a really simple miso broth with a mushroom medley that was baby bella's shiitake and oyster mushrooms i threw in just a tiny bit of garlic not too much because it is pungent especially after two weeks of raw i don't want to pummel my uh my innards and then i um kind of sweated those mushrooms and cooked them down a little bit i threw in some chickpea miso paste water and some crumbled nori seaweed. Oh my gosh, guys. And I topped that with some fresh homegrown chives. Yes, yes, yes. That soup was everything I've been dreaming of the last two weeks. Oh, it was so fantastic. I feel good after that. And then in the evening, I had a salad, which is not pictured here because I scarfed it down before I could get any footage of it. But, uh, I'm full. I am so full. That was the most food that I've had since the start of my healing crisis. And I'm grateful to see my uh, my appetite coming back. And uh, now the goal is to stay well hydrated, to keep up on the high raw, to keep up on the high fruit, to make sure that I am still staying hydrated and alkalized. One of the first questions that my mom asked me after I broke raw today was how much weight I've lost over the last two weeks. And um, as you see here, I lost nine pounds in two weeks. And friends, I did not go into this great feast raw challenge in order to lose weight. It's just a side effect of detoxification. This is a natural process that our bodies do whenever we hydrate and alkalize. This is digestive waste, cellular waste, and water weight that we are getting rid of. So it's important to understand that whenever we're talking about weight loss during detox, we are really talking about waste loss. And that will help you understand that we're moving digestive waste out, but we're also hydrating all of that lymph and we're getting a lot of cell waste out. And we're also moving a lot of water weight out because as our bodies become acidic, remember that the body will hold on to water to help buffer that acidity. So as we hydrate our bodies, our bodies have less of a need to hold on to that water and so they will let go of that water retention. Getting into today's takeaways real fast. Takeaway number one, I noticed a lot, and I do mean a lot more kidney filtration when I was eating the whole grapes as opposed to juicing them. And this highlights the fact that eating whole fruit is much more powerful than juicing our fruits. Now, granted, if you have a really weak pancreas and you are struggling to digest whole foods, then a solid food vacation and a bit of a juicing protocol can be really beneficial to help give your pancreas a rest. But for the most part, most of us need to be eating the whole fruit. And the fact that I saw that much more filtration while eating the whole fruit gives me a lot of hope in helping my clients and helping myself in the future. 
if you are struggling to get better filtration, look at what you're eating. Grapes are so aggressive, guys. I would recommend maybe trying a little bit of a grape feast yourselves to see what kind of filtration you get. Takeaway number two, you start to learn your body's natural hunger cues when you are on a raw food diet. Once you cut out those highly stimulating foods like the salt, the oil, the sugar, caffeine, and alcohol, suddenly these foods that we're left with, though they are energizing, though they give our bodies energy, they are not artificially stimulating like these other foods are. And so as we start to think we're hungry, more often than not, it's really just an appetite or a desire to cover up some kind of emotion that we're not processing. Rather than going for some kind of comfort food, if we're not truly hungry, we're probably not going to grab for the grapes or the watermelon or the apples, right? We're probably not going to go grab a cucumber out of the fridge. Once you are truly hungry enough, though, to eat those foods, you know that your body is naturally hungry. And so this is a fabulous way if you're struggling to figure out what your body's natural hunger cues are, have a good reset. Go on a deeper clean and get on that raw food. And takeaway number three, herbs make a fantastic support team during a deep detox. Friends, last year when I did the juice feast, I purposefully did not take any herbs because I wanted to show what the body could do without herbs and simply changing diet. But I will tell you that I struggled so much more with cravings. And part of that could also be because I was not eating the whole fruit. And that does make a huge difference. But another part of that is the fact that these herbs were supporting my body through the last two weeks, especially on a much more aggressive protocol. Last year, I struggled a lot with regulating my body temperature, my thyroid was down, and I just simply could not get warm. This time around, being all raw, eating mostly grapes and some watermelon, I did not struggle to regulate my body temperature. This is quite possibly the first time in years that on some kind of deep protocol, I have not struggled to regulate my body temperature. And this is phenomenal, guys. This is this is just mind blowing to me. It one shows me that my body glands are indeed strengthening, that they are improving and getting stronger than they have over previous years. This is great, but it also shows me that the herbal protocol that I was on did indeed help support my body as I expected it to. My elimination was so much better. I did not struggle with massive cravings, um, despite a little bit of a, a dip in energy right around day eight, nine with that healing crisis, I felt on point this entire time. And so I'm so very grateful for um, Dr. Morse's herbs, my homemade herbs, and all of their support during these last two weeks. So if you are looking to go on a deeper detox, friends, I highly suggest that before you jump in, do a little bit of research into what areas of your body will need more support and then look into either a good herbal tea or a few herbal blends to help support you during that time. You will not be sorry. Friends, this is it for Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. Thanks again for joining me the last two weeks. I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for joining me. I'm so very proud of each and every one of you for all of your hard work these last two weeks. I've said it again. I will continue saying it. You are worth the hard work and your hard work will pay off. So stay the course, guys. Get, uh, get excited about living a healthier lifestyle. There's so many different protocols out there to try. There's a lot of different ways that you can make this lifestyle work for you. 
Balance is indeed key. Find what works for you, but don't be afraid to get in there and dig deep, really hydrate and alkalize and show your body some love. I will be back with more DIY and how-to videos. I'll be sharing a few more of my herbal teas that I make at home. If you guys have any topics that you would like me to discuss in future videos, send me a message or drop me a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to discuss that. Guys, thanks again for joining me. Until I see you next time, I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.